You gotta give love and get love unconditionally. You just have to accept people for who they are. And the saddest thing in life is wasted talent. Here we My go. My love must be a kind of life. Welcome back to Hanging with the Herons. My name is James. This is another 365 movies in 365 days and 3 minutes and 65 seconds. We have a Bronx tale. Definitely one of my favorite movies. The music is just classic. Late 50s, 60s, excellent musical choices. The acting and performances are good. You have some amazing writing and amazing directing. And the story is just so beautiful. And what I really love, I love where the story went and the message that it brought. It can be a little slow going at times, but the story adds, it builds, and it has a phenomenal ending that I just did not expect or remembered. It was great. There's a special guest at the very end of this film that I very much enjoyed. And if you're any bit of a gangster film lover, Lover, you'll enjoy this. There's a lot of gangster New York feel. I enjoy those vibes quite a bit, especially the old days in New York. So it's a great film. Please watch it. Enjoy that ending and let's get to that cast. Robert De Niro not only stars in this film, but he also directed the film and did an excellent job there. It's a different Robert De Niro than you may have seen though because he's actually not playing the gangster role. He's playing a city working bus driver who's a loving, caring father. Check that out. Chaz Palminteri. He is our gangster star. He's played that role before. He's fantastic in this role. It's really a unique kind of a twist on the gangster altogether, and it's really neat to see him play it so well. Lilio Brancato, I hope I'm saying that right. That is a tough one to say. Highly respect his name. He makes some very interesting choices throughout this film. I enjoy his character. It's an interesting choice for sure. He's enjoyable to watch. Nicely done. And his younger self is played by Francis Capra, who does an excellent job. Smart, witty, energetic. Really enjoy watching him in his role as well. Terrell Hicks? She's lovely in this. Very beautiful. Does an excellent job in her role. There's this awkward relationship between the two, and I don't know if that's great directing and great acting, or if it's just awkward between the two in general, but it's really cute, and there's some really neat connections there as well. She does a great job. On to our quick fire facts. So not only did Robert De Niro direct this movie, he actually spent four or five years trying to get the rights to this film from our star, Chaz Palminteri. He finally went to Palminteri and said, I want to make your film. And Chaz just says, look, I don't want anyone to touch this film unless I can be sunny. Robert De Niro said, if you go to any studio and you give them those rights, the first thing they're going to do is come to me, Robert De Niro, and cast me in that role. So he says, sign me over the rights and I promise you I'll cast you as sunny. And sure enough, he did. And they played really Really great opposite of one another. Phenomenal choice there. Well done, Robert De Niro. Classy move and great recognizing an awesome story when you see it. And Chaz, great for trusting Robert to take care of everything there. You guys did a phenomenal work there. So even though this is a tale in the Bronx, it was shot mostly in Queens. At the time, in the early 90s, Queens was actually doing quite bad and many stores were actually abandoned. So by Robert De Niro bringing this film there, it brought a lot of life back into Queens, which was really great. So Queens was enormously appreciative of Robert De Niro shooting there. Robert De Niro was enormously appreciative because he had basically his own set with abandoned stores and things like that. They were able to fill with these great scenes and make it. And he said really Queens was the best location to remake the 1960s Bronx, which is really cool as well. In true Robert De Niro fashion, he was asked about did Martin Scorsese influence a lot of his directing, and he really didn't pay much attention to the way he was directing the film on any level thinking about Martin Scorsese. And he simply says, Marty does his movies and I do mine. And finally, our last quick fire fact, one of the young students who was asking some of the questions asked Robert De Niro, what does he think about method acting? And he says, at the end of the day, do what you need to do in that moment. Get where you need to be. Think about your mother that died last week. You think about this, you think about that. Your imagination makes you alive in that moment, in that scene. All the rest is BS. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is James. This is another 365 movies in 365 days, three minutes and 65 seconds. You've been hanging with the Herons. As always, comment below. If you've watched this movie, let me know what you think. And if you haven't, definitely Definitely go check it out. Check out that ending. Come back and let me know what you think then. As always, peace. Stars out tonight.